Okay, hello guys. So, basically this video is going to be just a bunch of housekeeping stuff. So, I'm probably what I'm probably going to do... Wait, wrong button. What I'm probably going to do is... I'm probably going to clear out, out some of this uh, land over here. Some of the trees. Uh, maybe work a little bit on my... This is very nice. This helps... This Oh, there's a skeleton over there. Alright, so I'm probably going to deal with some of the trees. Um, maybe work a bit more on my base. Uh, kill the zombie over here. God, that was a lot louder than I was expecting. Uh, and probably and probably just light light all this up. So, um, yeah, I'll just get started on that. Uh, see you. Yeah, uh, to the narrator flare. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to do was to make some torches to light up the area of my base that was dark, so that I don't have to worry about monsters killing me at night. So I started on that, and I tried to measure it out where every block was, every torch was 10 blocks distance from each other. The reason is, on the 1.18 update, uh, they allowed for mobs to only, or at least monsters, to only spawn when the they are in absolute dark li darkness level. So that means a torch should give up to 14 blocks of light in a radius from the torch instead of only seven from before. I wasn't 100% sure about that though, so I just did 10 because I felt like that was a, a better, more safe area. And at the end it turned out, out quite well, I didn't see anything spawn. Now I'm, as you can see, I'm chopping down some trees to clear up, up the area to make it easier to light up. The problem with my the place that I chose was it was very hilly and so I don't really feel like cutting op open a large gap in a hill because that's just kind of how the place is and it'd be really hard to do. Of course one day I might but I, I doubt it. Something about the hilliness is quite nice in my opinion. Just gonna make the lighting definitely quite hard. So here's, here I am counting out, out the torches. There was some parts where they were a bit complicated. Uh, right there, it kind of showed that I wasn't always 100% on point. Probably most of these torches will be sort of off. And I thought about that. I thought about like making everything absolutely perfect. But then, if you real, if you don't really have to, this is my world, and if I want to make it absolutely perfect, I can. But right now, it's only for effectiveness, and not beauty. So, of course, if it does hinder the fact that it does make allows for monsters to spawn, I will definitely move the torch. But for right now, if I place it down. Uh, and forget about it later, and forget that it's off later. Like, right there, I, w I will move it a little bit, adjust it. But I'm not gonna go back later and check every single one. Most of them will be off, but I don't really care. It worked out in the end. I had, uh, anything in my inside my wall that was not a very good wall I'm kind of lazy about that but anything inside the radius of my wall uh, practically is in light so I felt pretty good here I am walking around doing some more measurements there I am also struggling to get up a Two blocks. I don't even know how to describe it. I was just struggling to get up the mountain. 
as you can see there is a B. I am thinking about how to, uh, I have a plan for the future and it is going to evolve honey blocks. So I'm definitely going to have to uh, work on, uh, get some bees. But right now they're just going to live there happily. Okay, so in this corner, as you can see, it was kind of getting dark, so you can kind of see how the torches were making it a lot brighter when I placed them. So, I was a bit worried about out being over here, because it was just so dark. But after I let, lit it up, it turned out that like I did it actually perfectly, and so no part was in pure darkness. And the other thing about my base is that Except for my little house, the place that I am literally living in. Uh, most of it, I, I work down there, so that it's not just darkness near my sugar cane. But mo uh, it's varying in light levels, so, so there was something about that I, I that I kind of like. The little black dark darkness pluses, or whatever you want to call them. Like, they're little dark patches. But they're not, they're not bad. Here's me trying to make it look a little bit better in my base, lighting it up. Or at least, uh, lighting up, up my house. I had one more torch, so I was like, oh, I'll light up the waterfall, make it a little bit better looking. Now I'm bringing my bed to finally sleep in my house. It's not finished at all, but I don't think it ever will be, to be perfectly honest. But I decided to try to work on it, and so I'm making some uh, flooring. I got some 30, 30 tiles, and here I am cutting, breaking into the floor, and replacing it. And now I'm going to make a roof for no apparent reason, because I got a huge cave in, on top of me. But I felt like it. I wanted to kind of have it feel like it's very embedded into the ground, I guess. And I think I got I I think I got that quite well. Right about here, my pickaxe breaks, and I was quite annoyed. I didn't have any iron to make another one, and then I drop everything because I had an egg in my hand and I threw it, and I got a baby chicken. And I knew right away what I needed to do. I was going to block him off. Because I didn't have any leads. I fed him a little bit of seeds. So that he do doesn't despawn. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and so I continue to drop everything. And now I am making him a house. Uh, a little coop, I guess. If you want to be scientifically correct. I chose the granite. I thought maybe it might look good because barns are red. But I just decided to go with a floor with it. And just now I'm uh, just making a pretty, just a smaller version of my common houses. The other thing that I do with this house, which I don't usually do, is it doesn't have any hangover, which I thought was pretty nice. It looked, it's blocky, but... Something about it, I didn't want to get rid of I didn't want to... First of all, I feel like the overhang would be too much. Just, it's a small house. That's a whole meter of of blocks of home overhang. It'd probably be touching the... Pro probably be touching the ground. But yeah, that's my little coop. Now I'm getting rid of that old uh, fence, and now I'm not really sure what to do. So I decided I'd chop down my uh, bo bamboo, and now here I am collecting it. It's definitely in a very bad place because it just falls everywhere. And now I'm making some sticks, and I'm going to go to the village tomorrow. And here I am. I'm going to sell my sticks for... I'm going to make sticks into shovels for emeralds. So that what I'm trying to do 
is that I can get an iron pickaxe so I don't have to just mine to get iron. Of course, as you will see very soon, I'm still unable to because I only got six emeralds and this is going to take a long time. And I didn't even have the inventory space so I just kind of burned it all. And here's me making a pickaxe because I got annoyed because I lost my emeralds in the trade. And now I'm just fixing up his place for a little bit for no reason. I decided to check if they have any children. They don't, and I was kind of annoyed. But I just decided to make a large chest. And I throw some pretty valuable stuff in there. The only reason I did was because I thought uh, that, hey, I can, uh... It's right there. I won't forget. I'm just... This isn't very long. And... Watch, I'm specifically gonna just... Yep, right there. I just run away. I have some, uh, some stuff that I definitely needed. Uh, I look in there. I thought uh, there might be something good. Like iron or something. There was some coal. I need coal. But I decided not to. And now I'm going down my, uh, long stairway. Because I'm like, I thought I ink about getting iron, but I'm like, no, I want diamonds. So here I am, I'm going back into the mine. And I'm going, I'm going, and I realize that it's dark, so I can't go anymore. And I need coal, so I go to the coal mine, which is also the iron mine. And I felt very, I felt very mad at myself. And I continue to mine. And I realized, I was hoping that there would be coal, so I didn't have to go back. I I swear that I had coal on me, and that's when I remembered. Oh yeah, I left all that stuff that I told myself to not forget about. And I checked the time, with just using the sun. I was pretty sure I had enough time, but I had to go fast. This really whole video is me going fast, so it wasn't that hard. But I grabbed my stuff. It wasn't really... I, did, I even got some other stuff that I forgot out there before. Uh, take some damage. But I get back safely. I mean, always am making sure that my chicken will stay there. Is uh, still alive, always. Because I don't want him to die. It, or despawn, at least. And now I'm lighting up this area because I got uh, annoyed and scared. I decided... I thought about putting torches on the nether portal, but I decided not to. I just didn't feel like it went with the portal and also gave off a light already. I found a geode and I think, oh, I can I could go into that. That would be cool. I can have that in my thumbnail. And I think about it, but I decide not to again. And then I find water, which also had coal, and I was happy. It was hard to get, though. And then I kind of, I was checking to see if there was anything else, and I uh, turn back because I didn't see anything. Now I'm going back to try to find some more iron. I, all I get is coal. Which wasn't bad because I need coal anyways. I need to get all that coal. And now I'm continue to, continuing to mine. But I don't find anything because they didn't mind that much then my pickaxe breaks so I decided to turn back it looks a lot faster but it is very sc slow crawling it was painful and then I realized I just had some iron in there so I could have just ha gotten a pickaxe way earlier I was mining with a stone pickaxe for no reason I was very mad but, it was fine. But, I uh, chicken grew up. And that's it for the video. To Game Flare. Alright. Check the day. It is currently day 32. Almost about, just about to pass uh, last times. Uh, how long I survived. Alright. But, anyways. That's going to be the end of the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. Um, still in the, wanted to get it to uh, my goal of 25 subscribers, but if not, that's fine. Uh, anyways, 
Have a good day, guys.